A new week means a new AI native IDE. Last week, we explored Windsurf AI by Codium, which is a fantastic new alternative to Cursor. Now, Windsurf AI introduces this new built-in search engine that allows developers to provide full context of their code bases, making it a powerful agentic IDE with full contextual awareness. And it also has abilities like automated coding, which is also really nice. Now, on this channel, we've also showcased Cursor. And this is something that is quite impressive with this composer feature. This is another excellent option. However, there's key limitations to both Windsurf AI and Cursor, as neither of them are open source. But today, allow me to introduce a new IDE that is fully open source, and that is called AID. AID is an open source AI native code editor that is a fork of VS Code. AID merges the powerful, familiar features of VS Code with cutting edge AI capabilities, where it offers combined chat plus edit flows for seamless coding on communication. You have proactive agents, you have inline editing widgets, as well as intelligent code completion with fast and efficient file navigation. But something that stands out with AID is that this agentic framework is currently scoring the highest percentage on the Sway Bench, which is a benchmark test that evaluates the model's ability to resolve real-world GitHub issues. It's state-of-the-art at 43% on the Sway Bench Lite, and it has all the features that you would expect out of Cursor and Copilot, which complete data privacy and plug-and-play LM integration while being completely open source. What makes AID a super powerful AI coding assistant is its features, where there's a lot of cool features like the proactive agent where it has a forward thinking approach by proactively suggesting fixes, including missing files in the context and iterating on errors. You also have developer control where you can stay in charge of your coding workflow where it uses VS Code's native checkpoints and no Git dependency for seamless rollbacks if the agent's edits don't meet expectation. You have flexible workflows where you can brainstorm or edit first, it's all up to you. You can tag files like you would with Composer to contextualize your problems. You can also start small with edits and discuss potential side effects for a holistic development experience. You have Quick Invoke. What basically means is that it is inspired by macOS's Spotlight, where AID features a floating widget that is accessible through the Command plus K feature for instant interaction. You can select text and prompt immediately, which could change up whatever workflow uh, edits that need to be made. Something cool is that there's a local first approach where AID is designed to protect your privacy and boost the performance of whatever you're utilizing it for. It ships with a sidecar binary, and this is to manage LM prompts and access editor features locally. It gives you full control over prompts and responses with an optional subscription for shared data processing. A couple of other things is that there's deep reasoning where you can break down complex changes into logical smaller units for clarity. You have blazing fast edits and you have context persistence where it's able to maintain a continuous real-time context over your code base. So now what we're going to be doing is testing out this IDE. You can install it for macOS, Windows, and Linux. So go ahead and install it for whatever operating system that you have, and then we can proceed forward. So I've just installed it and I've opened this up. And you can see right away that it is the same sort of base structure that you would see with Cursor, as well as with Pair AI and many of the other IDEs we have. Now, obviously, while being a fork, you're going to have the same sort of UI and UX components that you would see with VS Code. So you can see on the top, you have all the different panels like the terminal, file, edit, and selection. You have various uh, tools that you have on your left-hand sidebar. And like I said at the start, you have the ability to revert changes like you would in VS Code. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start iterating on a project. You can see that there is this chat tab on the right-hand panel where you're going to be able to start chatting with aid to be your personal coding assistant whenever you're going to be iterating and developing. So a really cool command is the control shift C command. So if you are the press this, you can actually select files that you would want to pin as context. So 
if I want to pin something like a world of AI app, I can easily go ahead and select that and then I can pin it as context. Now within the chat tab, you can also do this by uh, going ahead and pressing in the at tab and then you can provide the code as well as a full on folder and you can provide that context to aid. And like I mentioned during the feature section, you can press command K or control K to have inline editing as a widget. And this is where you can start instantly interacting with AI, whether you need to give instructions or you need to provide a prompt to change something or adjust the selected text. You can prompt up something over here where you can be like debug this section of the code and then you can easily just send it in and then it will make the inline suggestion for you. So now that we have taken a look at a couple of the features, I want you to go ahead and click on accounts and I want you to sign in with an account. If you do not have a code story account, go ahead and create one. It's completely free and then you're going to be able to start utilizing aid. After you signed up, you're going to need to set up your providers for your models. And to do so, you want to press command control shift comma. Now, this is where you can select the models as well as the providers. You can utilize open source models as well from Olama where there's no configuration required where you can just simply have your local models loaded up into this. You have various providers, but we're going to go ahead and select the best one and that is Anthropics Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So I'm going to go ahead and provide my API key. I want to quickly note that there's going to be two different kinds of models that you can utilize. One for the code bot, which is going to be used for tab autocomplete. And then you have the interactive one, which is used for interacting with your editor, either via the inline chat or the sidebar chat. You can simply go ahead and choose the model you would want over here on the top for the copilot model, as well as for the chat model. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and have it generate a to do app. Now I know this is not your uh, regular to do app that you would see with most channels. This is something that is a bit more intricate. I'm going to have it generate this for me. So we can see right away that it's working on generating the theme. It's focusing on generating core components and it also focused on creating a plan for this. Now, the great thing with this is that it's going to go ahead and execute these commands within the folder that you've created. So within a couple seconds, we can see that it's going to then create a task list component with drag and drop. So we can see on the left hand panel that it is creating all these different things for you within the terminal. It's going to be executing these things. And we can see right here that it has live streaming as well, like you would see with something like Klein or something like yesterday's product we looked at, which was Kodu. But now it is working on creating the themes as well as the styling. And if you are to actually go into the terminal, you can see that it will be executing all of these commands too, such as installing packages, as well as taking the approach to basically execute commands for you. So you can see right now that it is executing this command right here and it's starting up the server. And within a couple of seconds, we should have it within our local host. And there we go. We have the taskmaster to do list. That was finally created by aid you can toggle the dark mode you can search tasks you have a lot of different tasks that are active completed and high priority and in this case you can have a task written up such as create three videos today so in this case i can add this task and i can even uh, add a priority to it and there's three different priorities green yellow and red red meaning that's a high priority uh, completed, I believe is going to be green and then active is yellow. So you can even edit this and then you can even configure this and say that you completed it. All these animations and everything was completed by aid. And this is what aid is actually capable of doing. Now there's truly so much more to this. So I definitely recommend that you try it out, give it a try, see what it's actually capable of doing for you. And if you really like it, you can definitely try it out because this is a really powerful new AI coding agentic IDE. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below so that you can easily get started with this. But with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon so that you can access our private uh, Discord as well as different subscriptions that we give out on a monthly basis. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. 
But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.